So one of the best ways to incorporate fitness into your lifestyle is by not having to leave your house in order to exercise. You can run around the block, walk around the block, do sit-ups or push-ups in your living room, or if you have the means and the space, you can build yourself a home gym. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I put together my home gym for less than $2,000. Let's check it out. Oh, you thought this was gonna be the gym. No, this is, this is just my garage. I just need to grab a few things before we get started, but I'll see you guys down there. All right, here we are. Let's get into the tour. First things first, we got the treadmill. This is where every workout starts. Just some light cardio to get warm. Moving on. Over here, we have the attachment or accessory wall. We got bands, cable machine attachments, wrist straps, lifting belts. I like to keep it all organized. Next up, we got the cable machine. Very basic. The attachments connect at the top or at the bottom. It's plate loaded, very versatile in terms of different loads. Something I'm glad I did when I first set everything up is I put these bolts into the concrete to keep everything locked into place. I didn't want things sliding around and having to constantly reset the equipment to where it belongs. Over here is where the baby plays when I lift. She's nine months old now, literally the best baby ever. She always happens to be down here for deadlift is what it seems like. Under the stairs I store some stuff that doesn't get used all the time. Just for frame of reference, the dimension of this space is 12 by 16 feet and it's only six feet eight inches from the floor to the bottom of the floor joist above. I tried my best to make good use of the space, maximizing my ability to move around, as well as maximizing the use of the space in the basement in general. I like to walk around in between sets. This wall here is actually three bookshelves that are mounted together. Over on the other side is a school room. I'll show you that real quick. This is where the older kids do their homework. In the corner over here, I have a little office set up. But um, back to the gym. The main piece of equipment down here is this Marcy Pro Smith machine. I'm gonna set up my tripod now and show you guys how I turned this Smith machine into my squat rack. Here's that tripod, but I actually found something better. My wife. So I'm gonna hand the camera to her. So if you head to marcypro.com, you'll see that they now make their home gym systems as Smith machines slash rack or Smith machines slash cage combinations. But this one right here was made in 2005. So I had to do a little bit of work to get it to be the way I wanted it to be. Anyways, I found it on Facebook Marketplace and I was able to see it for what it could be instead of what it currently was. So I'll show you what I did. My brother helped me by marking the ideal height for me to rack my squat bar as well as for me to rack the bar when I'm benching. And then if you look in the back here, you'll see that it already, the two by two rail already had these oblong holes for the Smith bar to hook into. And those holes run all the way down the back of this rail, but there was nothing in the front. The front was just, you know, flat finished. So I was able to find these J hooks for a barbell on Amazon, already made for a two by two rail with a one inch peg. So all I needed to do was cut a hole in the front of the steel that lined up with the bottom of the existing holes in the back. So in order to do that, this is what I was grabbing from the garage earlier. I use these drill bits. So this is a Diablo metal carbide teeth, again, one inch hole cutter. So cutting into metal, just a couple quick tips. You want to lubricate the surface that you're cutting because the metal on metal contact creates a lot of heat 
and it can make the blade really, the blades here really dull. So you want to lubricate, I sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on there. Long story short, measure twice, cut once. You just want the hole here to line up with the bottom of the hole in the, in the back. That way you're able to put your J-hook through. So this is how I set up for squat. I then cut the holes for the bench press. I also used a smaller bit to cut a 3 8, three eight inch hole for these safety arms down here. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I set up for both the squat and the bench press. I'm going to take you through the different areas of my gym and point out the costs of the main elements. As a disclaimer, you might get annoyed at how much I obtain for free. Anyways, I've been vigorously tracking nearly every expense I've incurred since 2016 on an online budgeting app called YNAB. You need a budget. So it was really easy for me to look back and pull the exact cost of anything coded as gym. First up we have the treadmill area. The treadmill I bought brand new from Walmart.com, $287.69. The mirror and the TV were both free. My friend who does general contracting work had this one job where he was asked to remove some mirrors from this lady's house. Turns out her entire living room and bathroom was covered in full length mirrors. Like you know how most people paint their walls? Yeah, well she used mirrors instead. I don't know how he managed to remove them without breaking them because they were all glued under the wall. So shout out to the old lady for the free mirror. The TV I got because I was buying a box spring I found on Facebook Marketplace. The couple selling it were moving. When I met them to pick it up, they asked me if I wanted the TV. So I spent $15 for the box spring and scored a TV and the mount for free. Moral of the story, shop on Facebook Marketplace. Moving along. These cable machine attachments you see here are MAG, M-A-G, Maximum Advantage Grips, knockoffs. Bought these brand new online for just $137.79. Oh, and side note, there are going to be links in the description for everything still available to be purchased online. Next up, the accessory wall. The pegboard itself was free. It had just been sitting in my mom's basement forever. I used a couple cans of spray paint to get it looking new but I don't have the cost of those. The hooks I got on Amazon for about $29. Also from Amazon are these two types of bands you see here. I was really annoyed to find out that the set I spent $75 on are now only like $20. I guess I bought these when home gym equipment prices were at an all time high. Regardless, highly recommend both of these sets of bands again, links in the description. Everything else you see here was free-ish. All the attachments came with other things I spent money on, so not exactly free. But this next thing was actually free. I bought my kids an electric piano, again, Facebook Marketplace, and the guy that sold it to us gave me this subwoofer slash speaker thing. I had these devices that turn any speaker into a Bluetooth speaker, so this was a win. The cable machine I got for a steal, and yes, again, Facebook Marketplace. This is the last time I'll say it because that's where I found basically everything. The machine itself was being sold for $155. Why? I still can't figure out why they sold it to me for so cheap. This lady and her husband were like personal trainers and had this commercial gym set up in their basement. They were moving to Florida and had to get rid of everything. They sold me a pair of 45 pound plates as well for 50 cents a pound. This was right before the world shut down and we saw each other as contagions because a few months later weights were being sold for like $2 a pound. Grand total $205. Funny story about this purchase, it was like 10pm when I got to their house. We ended up drinking homemade kombucha and talking about life in their kitchen until like 11.30pm. Another benefit of shopping on Facebook, you can make some friends. 
The attachments you see here, the D handles and the ropes, came with the cable machine and those are the 45 pound plates, the silver ones you see there. The letter stencils cost about $15 and I just used leftover spray paint from the pegboard. The heavy bag and gloves I got for a total of $144.50. The walker was free and it works ridiculously well as a dip bar, you gotta get creative. One man's trash is another man's treasure. These Titan adjustable dumbbells came with four 10 pound plates. When I bought these, the price of weights was more like $2 a pound. On the other hand, this next set of equipment was purchased just before the pandemic. I got everything you see here plus some more weights that I didn't include in the picture for only $80. This stuff is great because you can create practically any weight and the equipment doesn't take up a bunch of space. I did buy these mini collars though to make adjusting easier. Okay, we're almost done. The safety catches came from Amazon, the mats from Facebook Marketplace. I know I wasn't supposed to say that again. I got the first big piece of mat that's in front of the rack. And then after putting them in my basement, I wanted just one more small piece to fit inside of the rack. I work at Chick-fil-A and the guy who sold me the mats came through my drive-thru. I told him I needed just one more piece and he happened to have it in the exact size. I never had to cut any of these mats. My brother, shout out to my brother, he gave me the bumper plates. The Smith machine itself cost about $400. I thought I was only buying the machine for $400 when I went to go get it, but the lady gave me this barbell and all of these black plates as well, as well as the weight tree that they're sitting on. The smaller silver plates on the side I bought at a different time. And last but not least, the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. It was a gift from my brother. I have a pretty cool brother. And that's it. That's my gym. Very basic setup, but there are so many movements you can do down here. Check it out.